So just I have one question. Yes. Uh, actually, it is general question. Uh, mm -hmm. Currently, it is uh, grooming around the IT world. Mm -hmm. How much uh, the AI is going is uh, AI is going to impact on testing field or how it is? Uh... It's a very very genuine and very concerning topic as well. Uh, not only to the testing, but entire IT industry, right? Yes. Yeah. So the thing is, um, I take it in this way, right? Based on my experience around 20 years now, what I have seen mm -hmm. ups and down, obviously not like this is not the first time that AI is there. I have seen the dot-com bubble and uh, what you say. Uh, also the great um, time, like great disastrous time when uh, housing bubble came in 2000, mm -hmm. recessionary and all, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen that everything. What I felt is every time there will be layoffs, okay? Yeah. There will yeah. be layoffs, people will be laid off because of some other things. It is very unfair to say that it is happening because of AI. It yeah. is happening because you have not upgraded yourself. You are not okay. capable enough to do the job, right? Yeah. So when we actually grow in number of experiences, our knowledge and wisdom should also grow. You are yeah. a different person. If you keep okay. make sure one thing that you keep growing with the current trend in technology, you are replaceable, always replace, ir irreplaceable guys, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what you have to say. You cannot have any other control over all these things that is happening outside, but what you can control is on your learning, right? Yes. In, in your head. Okay. So yes. take this as a weapon, keep learning, keep improving, keep your eyes in and there. But I'll tell you, there are always human required. Okay. Now, I don't know whether you guys have heard there was some, uh, something, um, the AI code has deleted the entire repository. Yeah. I just yes. read some news, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think like how safe it is? Like somebody has done a lot of work and now it has deleted everything. Now, I, I feel that, okay, this is like uh, people, everyone is like everyone AI, 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 but uh, same thing has happened when big data came into picture a couple of years back. Now, where is the big data? Hadoop yeah. and everything. Yeah. That is also okay. kind of the hype is gone actually for that also, right? Yes. Same yes. thing will happen to AI also. But the thing is, okay, until there is some bigger disaster happen, people will not understand this. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yes. always human are required. Who made the AI? Human only is making, right? We are only able to tell AI, please go and do, write the code for me. AI will go and do, self-healing will done. But ultimately a person is required. So maybe out of 10 people, maybe four or five are required. Yes? yes, maybe half. Yes. At max, half half of the amount people will be required. And who are at risk? People who are not upskilling themselves. Yes. Who are doing always manual testing. It's still 20 years of experience. They still do a boundary value analysis yes. and running yes. some manual test cases, right? So those people are the most who will get impacted. But if you can make sure that you are upskilling and best in your field, always updated with the new technology, there is nothing that is going to shake you. Yes, this is, I feel personally, but I don't know like what might happen tomorrow and that I don't want to actually anticipate also because that is nothing that I can control external environment. What I control is I can actually upskill myself, groom myself, become a better person than yesterday. This is 1% that I can do every day. Yeah. Yes, got it. But uh, that means, uh, uh, do you have any idea in future to get uh, the different approach or way of learning? Definitely. Now it is in terms of ETL uh -huh. or data testing. Uh, data testing and everything, see, it will take some time because, um, but now, uh, because data testing is very, uh, ETL testing is very, very niche skill sets. There is yes. no AI tool which can actually do. Yes. For example, there is a wave automation. You might have heard yes. cordless automation, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. A lot of tools like Apple tool and yes. uh, all of these tools are there in the market, which can do very good job for you to do the website testing. But yes. data yes. testing is very sophisticated. It is having a lot of layers. You have to connect to this, that, that. Mm -hmm. AI agent yes. cannot understand those complexity. Till now, there is yes. no such framework. In future, I don't know. But if it is there, it will not be very full-fledged because you always have to do customize based on your project requirement. Yes, right? definitely. So you cannot build one one tool for a free because every ETL system itself is a different. When yes, you see the website, there are same, almost same website. Text tag will change. 
but you yeah. can navigate you can click here you can log in here you can go to landing page and all that website flow itself is same but in etl testing there are different approaches different tools and text tech. that's why there is le less chance that you can do the full end-to-end -end automation yes there could be partial automation i am not denying it but full automation i don't think so it is possible as of now yes